Welcome to Mandatory Update. I am Isla Hink. And I'm Elise Willems. Isla, it's been an eventful few years since the audience has been graced by the internet's number one all-female news team. Been telling them for years. We were telling them. And 2020 had a lot of bad. No! <clears throat> and a lot of good. This. <laughs> I sure, I sure loved it. <laughs> and we're back to make sure that we all go straight to H-E double hockey sticks. Yay! <laughs> Just to be clear, neither of us believes in hell, but we know that some of you do, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that you go there. In all seriousness, we've grown up a lot over the last few years. We have? Yeah, didn't you? No, D did you? No. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I gave her consent to touch my boob. I wrote that joke, so it's okay. In this special episode, we return to the desk to cover the big stories out of E3 2021. Topical still, I know. And then some. And what an E3 it was. Once again, besieged by a pandemic, the ESA proved their relevance with a virtual show floor website that featured digital tours of booths that had content that was worthwhile. I personally love the virtual convention. However, I did miss the exciting feeling of walking on the show floor, taking in the show floor, being noticed by security on the show floor, being tackled on the show floor, being removed from the show floor. I think that was a Wendy's. Oh, that explains why the only game was Mario 64. <laughs> anyway, I was impressed. <laughs> That's a good game, it holds up! I, I love that game. <laughs> Of course, some of gaming's biggest names made appearances at E3, including auteur game developer Hideo Kojima, who announced a director's cut of Death Stranding. Finally, he is free from the draconian oppression of his studio, Kojima Productions. <laughs> Imagine the game that we're gonna get when Kojima finally lets Kojima really cut loose. Someday. He runs a tight ship, you know? He's not exempt from the rules. No, no, no. <laughs> he can't, yeah, he says, this is how Kojima does it. Yeah. In perhaps the most talked about moment of Summer Games Fest, we saw the first trailer for Elden Ring from software's highly anticipated action RPG. It comes from industry veteran Hidetaka Miyazaki, with help from fantasy author George R.R. R. Martin. When pressed as to why he refuses to finish writing Game of Thrones, instead diverting his time to to a video game, Martin shouted, go find the breastplate stretcher, then fled until his cape got caught in a revolving door. <laughs> that That's it? What? That's our only Elden Ring joke? I asked you to write one, and you said Elden Ring is no laughing matter, and then screamed, Project Beast, and passed out onto your cheeseless, meatless, soulless pizza. I call it red bread. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Infinite had a pretty decent showing this year at E3, showcasing some solid-looking multiplayer with a sick-ass new grappling hook and some campaign with some more Cortana bullshit. But the big question on everyone's mind, where the fuck is Craig? The internet's favorite ugly little broody pie was nowhere to be seen. Now, we're not saying that Microsoft took Craig out behind the old Warthog garage and old yellered him. Spoilers for old yeller. Spoilers for old yeller, but there was definitely a Craig-sized hole in this heart at E3 2021, and I don't think I'm the only one. Yeah, Craig's mom was watching the stream. Uh-oh. Then who was fucking her? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because it, it wasn't me. Beloved Hollywood actor and sexy grandpa Jeff Goldblum himself narrated the cinematic trailer for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Thanks to Goldblum's, shall we say, erotic influence, this is the first collector's box where the box in question contains five liters of Franzia Sunset Blush. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, Jurassic World Evolution 2 might look pretty cool, but on a second glance is highly problematic from a scientific accuracy perspective. In an egregious move, the game allows you to populate your park with flying and marine reptiles, which are not technically dinosaurs, said me, the most popular person at any party. Oh yeah, when you walk into the room and you're dropping facts like that, yeah. oh. <laughs> the point is that you're alive when they start to eat you. Remember when he like totally fucking eviscerates that kid and the kid's like terrified forever? And it's like, what, what's your goal here, Alan? You want you want him to like dinosaurs? <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 showed off a sexy long-haired Link with a sexy corrupted evil arm, jumping sexily toward floating sexy land chunks and turning into sexy water to go through rocks. I tell you what, Link wasn't the only thing that got wet during that trailer. I spilled my drink. 
onto my vagina. Straight people are weird. In other news, Samus is looking like a highly fuckable snack in her new white suit in Metroid Dread. Dread is a super sexy word, by the way. Where she can turn invisible to avoid this hot, kind of freaky, sexy robot, but you can still see her figure in the outline. And like, I couldn't help but thinking about like, you know, after a long day of flipping around and killing robots and upgrading her sexy fucking suit, like maybe she goes to a save room and, I, and, and like I'm there and like I help her get out of that suit and like massage her tired legs, you know? And like maybe she's like, my zero suit is so hot from, and, and, and like sweaty from fucking up all those sexy robots. Hey, Isla, can you like help me fuck up something else? And then we kiss and like totally fuck on the cone stole stone and metal floor in the dank save room. And even though it's cold and scary, we feel safe and warm because we're together, you know? That sounds very nice. We got a trailer for Square Enix's single player Guardians of the Galaxy game, and I'm genuinely excited for it. Now, I know it can be a little disorienting to see the game characters because we've come to know how they look in the film version, but look, why does Drax look like if Kratos fell in the same vat of chemicals as the Joker? Okay, riddle me this. <laughs> Starfield had a teaser trailer which answered everyone's questions by explaining what kind of game it is, what sorts of things you'll be doing while you're playing it, and most importantly, how big you can make your bahangas in the character creator. Are we talking like big? I'm talking like or big. Reasonable. Like Stop objectifying Starfield. <laughs> Speaking of Starfield, a Bethesda game, and Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. How'd you like that segue, Elise? It was not one of your best. I liked it. Xbox Game Pass had a big E3, with a ton of games announced for the subscription service. Here to talk more about that is head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Isla, Elise, it's exciting to see you. Much like it's exciting to talk about all of the recent titles announced for Xbox Game Pass. Didn't you already? Forza Horizon 5, Psychonauts 2, Contraband, Slime Rancher 2. These are only a few of the amazing games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Phil, Xbox Game Pass is amazing, agreed. The value is there and it's been a game changer for the industry. It sounds like it's only getting better. You really don't have to sell us on it. Like we're sold, we're, we're sold. in. We're in, yeah. How can I convince you both to sign up for Xbox Game Pass? What? What is it gonna take? Do you, do you, you wanna twist my arm? Fine. I'm proud to announce an exclusive Xbox Game Pass offer directly from the horse's mouth. No, no. Right now, for a limited time, I will personally come to your house, turn on your Xbox, and enter a code for three free hours of Game Pass. That's really that's Next, I will time. install five games in the Xbox Game Pass carousel. Not playing any favorites here. Well, what if I've already played those games? Already? Next, you will feed me a meal of my choosing, be it lunch or dinner. It's not a catering. We set. will then pause to watch the newest episode of Loki, which is not available on Game Pass. We will have to use your account. My ex-wife changed the Disney Plus password. Game Pass. He just stop and just say that, Game Pass. To is that you're done? How, how do you make money on Game Pass? Volume. All right, well, sounds good. Thanks, Phil. Thank yeah. you, kids. Thanks, excited for more Game Pass. Battlefield 2042 was officially announced on June 9th. The game is set in the near future and features the same levolution and destructive environments of Battlefield 4, this time including extreme weather events that in all likelihood might be more and more commonplace in 20 years from now. I would like to take this moment to applaud DICE for taking this bold and innovative new strategy to teach people about the harsh realities of climate change. If one dude bro gets smashed by a jeep thrown at him by a massive tornado in some worn torn husk of a once beautiful metropolis and thinks to himself, damn that sucked, I think DICE will have changed the world for the better. In this new post-polar ice cap world, I like to think that we're all dude bros. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, we're all we're all jeeps thrown about <laughs> by, by errant <laughs> tornadoes. <laughs> it's worth noting that Battlefield 2042 takes place about a hundred years after World War II. Dice seems very confident that world wars will neatly align to exactly a hundred years apart. I mean, I guess the pandemics kind of did. Uh oh. <laughs> Dice, what do you know that we don't know? All right, Dice. <laughs> <laughs> too soon? Is it too soon? It might be. It probably is, yeah. Get, get your vaccines for real kids. Get them. Mm -hmm. 
The Quiet Place 2, directed by The Office finalist John Krasinski, recently came out, and let me tell you, the only thing quieter than that place is my marital bed with James. I, I think you were supposed to read that one. No, that was for you. A <laughs> <laughs> We here at Mandatory Update like to punch up. We don't usually like to joke about the unfortunate, the awkward, the downtrodden, the destitute, the vile, the sad, the unwashed, but my God, that Gearbox press conference was trash. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking Christ. Did you see the fucking press conference? Did you see the fucking oh, Gearbox father. press conference? <laughs> Mother, may I? <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> the Future Games Show had its share of unique indie titles, including Esports Boxing Club, an immersive boxing experience that pits classic boxers against today's talent. Only in video games can we see theoretical mashups that we never get to see in real life. Tell me, in what other scenario could we cheer on YouTuber Logan Paul as he pummels the bejesus out of Big Top Harry Soup Pants, the hobo king of Boxcar 99? Life is Strange Remastered is getting a facelift to look exactly the same and come out well after the upcoming sequel. Brilliant moves over at Square Enix. I Enix? love it. I'm excited. Huber and I are going to play the shit out of it, and we're going to do another Square. Uh, we're going to do another Life is Strange episode to episode, even uh, though we, yeah. we did it already. She loves it so much that I originally had her reading that joke in the script, and she made me do it. I said, "Back, beast! <laughs> <laughs> Back to hell!" <laughs> According to Twitter, the most talked about games were The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, Elden Ring, Battlefield 2042, Halo Infinite, and Forza Horizon 5. According to Isla, the most talked about game games were My Big Stinky Butt. This is a prank joke. Gotcha! Prank joke. Prank joke. I guess, I guess it's a good prank joke. <laughs> you prank got joke. me. Because it's a butt. Because of a butt. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. And I'm sitting right next to it. <sighs> Filling in the void left by the delay of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 are several new games set in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, a battle royale game that flies in the face of everything the Masquerade stands for. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Punt, a football game where the players are enhanced with vampiric abilities like super speed and seduction. Vampire the Masquerade She's Had Her Blood, a touching coming of age story about a teenage girl who was turned into a vampire on the same day as getting her first period so she never stops having her period but she learns to love herself. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Gems, uh, a match three game, and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 3. Why does she keep having her period? I don't understand what that has. Vampire rules, I don't know. Haven't you seen Twilight? No, I actually haven't. Well, at the end, this uh, they give birth to a vampire baby, and then Jacob imprints on it. It's a wolf thing. And then, uh, like, he wants to, like... This holiday season, Xbox is making its novelty mini-fridge that looks like the Xbox Series X available for retail. Not to be outdone, PlayStation announced the PS5 Backyard Turkey Fryer. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> Rainbow Six Extraction was showcased and it looks kind of fun. You may have heard about this game before when it was called Rainbow Six Quarantine, but Ubisoft wisely decided to change the name. Several other titles were workshopped, including Rainbow Six Gun Control, Elon Musk's Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six Life Begins at Conception, and Rainbow 69. Frankly, that last one was my favorite, but whatever. Why do I get all the listy ones? Because you write all the listy jokes, and I don't want to read them. Mm, that makes sense, that's fair. And quite frankly, the 69 one is my favorite too. Mm -hmm. During the PC gaming show, we got a trailer for Ramen, spelled R-A-W-M-E-N, a, -E a food-centric third-person arena shooter with a title that, if you search for it, will alter your Google recommendations forever. <sighs> don't ask me how I know. You don't want to know. You don't want to be part of this. How do you know? What, what have you seen? What have your elf eyes seen? <laughs> the men. They were so raw. <laughs> they were so raw. They were so raw. <laughs> raw dogging it up and down the circuit parties. <laughs> Playing Rainbow Extraction 69. <laughs> like their lives <laughs> depended on it. Those ramen. Oh, that's uh, good. And that's our show. As always, we feel the need to clarify we love video games. We do. And I love doing this show. Me too. Maybe we should do it more often. I agree. Or. Hmm? We could go to laser tag. Laser, laser tag. tag. <laughs> Woo! Till next time. See you next time. Good night and good game. Um, I just have. I've always had old hands. It's a thing. I mean, you got lovely. That looks like a youth's hands. <laughs> the hands of a youth. You've been. Gr Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, we're back. Started it up we're again. Back. Okay. And 2020 had a lot of bad. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to poke it? Just do whatever's funny. I don't know. I don't know. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just thrilled that they're there. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I think that some people might be like, that's irresponsible because you're giving the impression that you can do things like that without consent. I'll say after the intro bit, I'll say, I gave her consent to touch my boob. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> and it won an E3, it was. Oh my god, I never read this part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowl of sauce. <laughs> it's bread. It's a crust with red sauce. Ew. I have to imagine pizza. Some of us are not blessed like you. You, you eat pizza like the kids eat the meal in Hook. <laughs> uh, I do whisper you're doing it, Peter, to myself every time I have a bite. Straight people are weird. We're just like you. Uh -huh. Respect us. <laughs> <laughs> you are objectifying Samus a lot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got a trailer for Square Enix. <laughs> not calling a baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> we got a trailer for Square Enix single. How can I sell the two of you on Xbox Game Pass? <laughs> that, is it, what will it take? How can I convince you both? <laughs> that was per I'm so sorry. That was <laughs> <laughs> Games Pass. Fuck. <laughs> because my ex-wife changed the Google Plus password. The Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Google Plus. Google Plus. Google, Google Plus, Plus is pretty funny. Years. It might be too mean. I mean, in, in this. Let's go ahead and film it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead. Put it on. Let's go ahead and record. play it on the show. We'll let the crowds decide. <laughs> oh, send me. Send me, send me some Hail Marys, Father, <laughs> for the press conference, Father. Tell Kevin oh. Hart to say. Pff, I don't know. He pummels the hair. Well, the first one's fine, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the future game show had a. Sh the future game show is great. <laughs> <laughs> As he bumble bumbles. This was, I'm sure the first one's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. I'm gonna put a montage of you saying, <laughs> I'm sure the first one's fine. As he pummels the busy. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sure the first one's fine. I'm sure right. the first one's fine. <laughs> Hobo King of Boxcar 99. You I made get it. it. You made it. I am Harry Soup Pants now. Hobo <laughs> King. Life is Strange Remasters. Life is Strange Remastered is getting a facelift. <sighs> See, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Filling in the void left by the delay of Vampire the Masquerade. I'm so unconfident in my voice sounding girly. The thing is, you already had. Don't take this the wrong way. Maybe you'll take this the right way. You already, already had a pretty yeah. feminine voice. Good. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. I think I probably sound more masculine than you do. No, up top. Woo, no, up top. Up top. <laughs> up top. <laughs> no, go to top for that. Up top. Vampire the Masquerade. She's had her blood. A touching coming of age story about a teenage girl. Who Vampire the Masquerade. Blood gems. A three. A match three game. And Vampire the Masquerade. Bloodlines three. I'm gonna do that again. I don't, I don't understand why she would have her period forever. I don't know. Vampire rules. <laughs> <laughs> Go to laser, laser tag. tag. Yeah. Oh, laser tag. We'll see you fuckers later. We'll see you later.